Hi and assalamualaikum everyone. We hope that you're all doing well. So we will be making um, tandoori chicken today or chicken roast. So carry on to see how we make this yummy recipe. Also, as you can see, we'll be roasting some potatoes, making some beans, and um, just having like a nice family dinner. This is actually my dad's recipe. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. So to prepare the chicken, as you can see, we've soaked it in some water, adding two tablespoons of salt and squeezing one large lemon in this. So basically guys, this is a restaurant secret that they don't tell you. This makes the chicken completely hygienic and um, it just removes any smell and odor inside the chicken, um, leaving it smelling very fresh. So just leave the chicken to soak in the water for a minimum of one hour. The longer you leave it, the better it will be. Over here, as you can see, I am crushing some fresh green chilies, so I'm using about two. For the marination, I'm also using about five garlic cloves. Um, so I'm just going to crush them in the pastel mortar really well, making it a paste. And now also crushing some ginger. Um, you can put as much or as little ginger as you like, but this just makes the smell so beautiful and um, gives it a nice zing as well um, so we're just going to take the ginger out and leave all three ingredients aside for the marination I cannot emphasize how important this step is because it just makes the chicken um, become really nice and clean and removing all the fat of your chicken and um, also the smell inside your chicken um, that raw smell it just totally goes away and it just smells so fresh because of the lemon um, so if you don't have lemon you can always add about two tablespoons of white vinegar um, it works just as well just keep in mind to keep the ratio of the salt a bit low because your chicken was already soaked in salty water. So you'll see later on that I don't put salt at the beginning. Over here, I'm putting about four to five tablespoons of um, yogurt. So I'm using natural Greek yogurt, which is very nice and creamy. It's also thick in consistency, as you can see. Next, I'm putting the crushed ginger that's about two tablespoons and um, about five to six cloves of garlic we will now be putting our two crushed green chilies one teaspoon of cumin powder one teaspoon of tandoori masala one teaspoon of red chili powder one teaspoon of turmeric haldi powder some ground black pepper you can put um, fine black pepper as well if you don't have the crushed one and uh, one teaspoon of oregano And finally, some caram seeds, which is a twine in Urdu, and um, about one and a half teaspoon of um, yellow mustard. This just gives a tangy flavor to your chicken, and um, also the smell, if there is any remaining smell, it just gives it a nice mustardy smell. And over here, we're putting one whole um lemon juice 
so if you have small lemons just put one and a half that would work too As I told you guys before that we need to be very careful with the salt because we already put some salt in the lemon water and um, just taste to see if you need a little or more salt. Over here as you can see we're just putting some cuts on the chicken thighs. Um, reason being is because you want the marination to just go deep into your chicken and um, for it to just be flavorful from the inside. Over here we're drizzling some olive oil. So we're putting about two tablespoons of olive oil. What this will do is um, it will just give a nice shine to your chicken. And um, just make sure to mix really, really well, coating your chicken in the, um, in the masala that you've made. And um, then just cover it with cling film and um, leave, it, leave it aside for about an hour. Um, I would recommend more if you can um, just because your chicken will be full of flavors by the time you roast it in the oven. Over here we're just um, cutting some potatoes in four quarters and um, I mean if you've got chips you can always fry some chips or put them in the oven as well but we like some um, crunchy potatoes because they're so delicious and um, so full of flavor. Over here we're putting about a pinch of salt and um, also a large pinch of oregano as you'll notice. I also love thyme on this as well, on the potatoes. Um, so now we will be putting a drizzle of um, olive oil. This will prevent your potatoes from sticking to the tray and also it will give a nice crunch and a gloss. So as you can see here, we're preheating the oven on um, 220 degrees for about half an hour and um, we want the heat coming from the bottom and the top of the oven. Here as you can see, we've got a tray underneath and we'll just be putting the foil on top and um, then putting our chicken thighs, placing them in a nice order. When you've put the chicken in the foil, you just need to make sure that it's wrapped really, really well because you want the steam to stay trapped inside the foil packet. Um, that will just make your chicken really nice and soft um, because there will be liquid inside. Um, all the juices will just be inside your foil. So 
So when we first put the chicken inside the oven with the foil, we just want the chicken to really, really cook well inside. Um, when we put it in the second time, that's when we want the, there to be a glaze on the chicken, like a tandoori glaze. So when we take this chicken out, you will notice that it's still a bit wet and uh, moist. Um, that's totally fine. That's how we want it. But when we put the chicken in the second time, we want it to be a bit dry on top and um, just have that tandoori chicken look, which is just amazing. And um, that's what we want. So after we wrap the chicken up, we want this to go in the oven for about 45 minutes. So at this stage we were about 30 minutes um, since we put the chicken in and um, now we're putting the potatoes for about 25 minutes. We want the potatoes and the chicken to be cooked almost at the same time so we can serve them together. So after we brush our chicken with some olive oil, what we'll be doing is now putting the chicken back into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes on uh, 250 degrees. This time we want to make sure that the heat is coming from the top um, because our chicken is already cooked. So we just want to give the chicken a nice glaze and um, we just want some color um some golden brown color on the chicken um which will give it that perfect tandoori look and also for the potatoes we just want them to be a bit golden brown and nice and crunchy this is just something i decided to do last minute i love beans with potatoes so I thought this is a perfect combination. Why not have some beans too? As you can see, our chicken, it's done. And just look at that. This is the crisp texture I was talking about the top of the chicken. And um, honestly, it was smelling so beautiful, so beautiful. And even by looking at it right now, I'm feeling so hungry. <laughs>
thank you all so much for watching our video we hope that you guys really like this recipe um please do remember us in your prayers and um, to stay smiling i really recommend that you guys all try this recipe because honestly it's so delicious it's perfect for a family gathering or if you have your friends over perfect for the weekend um so yeah and um thank you once again please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and um, thank you so much for all your support that you guys are giving until next time take care Allah Hafiz.